So for this video today, I want to be talking about four things that you can do to position your life for better. So if you're trying to manifest a shift in your reality, you want to attract more positivity, more goodness into your life, and you are looking to transition into a different environment or simply just elevate and reach another level, these are all things that you can implement into your routine. So with that said, let's get right on into it. So number one, is declutter mentally physically and emotionally so mentally you want to be clear on what it is that your goals are you know this is when getting a sheet of paper out and writing down your to-do list and what you're accomplishing is really helpful you know what i like to do is when i wake up in the morning you know, look over my goals, look over the things that I'm trying to achieve in my life. And I find that this is very helpful to keep me focused and remind myself, you know, of what I need to give my attention to. Physically, detox, fasting, and cleaning up your diet. You know, how we feel is a direct correlation to the energy that we have to achieve our goals. And go after the things that we need to do in our day so you want to make sure that you consider you know what type of eating habits that you have and emotionally getting rid of anything that's storing up emotional baggage you know if there's anyone or any situation that you need to release if you need to forgive yourself or forgive someone else you know, these are all things that help to free up space emotionally in your environment. You know, you wanna get rid of anything that's simply taking up space. Old bills, clothes, items that you're no longer using, and things in your phone, like old photos, old contacts, text message threads, anything pretty much that you have a procrastinating on doing all of these things at once will play a huge role in the energy that's freed up in your life and the shift that you're trying to manifest so that is number one declutter mentally physically emotionally now number two is evaluate your relationship your relationship with yourself and your relationship with others. So if there's any connection that you find toxic, draining, or dead weight, you know, you want to work on releasing these connections. And the connections that add value to your life, continue to pour into those, to strengthen and maintain those connections. Your relationship with yourself, you know, you want to cultivate that, build that up, and you know strengthen it because your relationship with you is a foundation for you know your connections with others and your shifting your reality so that is number two evaluate your relationships and your relationship with you now number three number three is feed and nurture your soul so this will look different for each and every one of us, but it's pretty much making sure your cup is full, you know, what your needs are. And this is where relationship with self comes in handy because when you're most in tune with what it is that you desire, what your likes and your dislikes are, it's much easier to make sure that your cup is full, you know? so keeping yourself fulfilled, inspired, rested, educated, and treated the best way possible. Um, this could be going back to school. This could be adding more song, more dance into your life, more fun. This could be being more expressive, sleeping in, um, treating yourself more often, exercising, Whatever it is that you feel intuitively guided to do, 
you want to listen to your body, listen to your needs, and make sure that your needs are fulfilled. So that is number three, feed and nurture your soul. And number four is strengthen your connection to the divine. You know, so I feel like our connection with God or uh, source, you know, each and every one of our connections to the divine and how we exercise that connection is unique to, you know, each and every one of us. So, you know, it might look like doing spiritual practices for you, or it could look like altar work. It could look like time in nature, you know, taking in the elements, daily Bible verses or prayer. Um, it could look like meditation, simply just talking to spirit or talking to God throughout the day. You know, whatever it is that you feel within yourself, you know, inspired to do, to strengthen your connection to the divine, that is what you want to do. You know, when we are more in tune with God, more in tune with, you know, the higher power, it's easier for us to keep higher thoughts. I know for me, it's easier for me to keep my mind in the right places and simply just keep a positive attitude and be optimistic about life. So that is number four, strengthen your connection to the divine source, God, you know, whatever it is that you relate with. So that is it for this video. Four things that you can do to position yourself for better in life. Number one is declutter mentally, physically, emotionally in your environment. Number two, is evaluate your relationship, strengthen your relationship to yourself. Number three, feed and nurture your soul. Number four, is strengthen your connection to the divine. So with that said, I hope that you found this video helpful and I will catch you in the next one.